Hello friends, today we will see how to edit the build.prof file without rooting your device. The following prerequisites are necessary. Uh, first of all, you should have the unlocked bootloader of your device. Secondly, you should install the minimal ADB and passboot tool on your computer. Uh, it can be downloaded from the internet and installed. ADB is Android Debug Bridge. It's a command line utility that is included with Google's Android SDK. ADB can con control your device over USB from a computer, copy files back and forth, install and uninstall apps, run shell commands and more. And uh, I have minimal ADB and fastboot already installed on my computer. Uh, I'll show you the location. It's in this location. Uh, thereafter, you should have a TWRP recovery image file compatible for your device downloaded on, on, on your computer. I have a Moto G Turbo, so I have already downloaded the TWRP recovery image file for that and I have copied it to the location of my uh, ADB. This is the file. In this video, in the process of uh, editing build.prof file, we will see how to enable cast screen in Moto G Turbo. By, by default, Moto G Turbo on Marshmallow doesn't have the cast screen feature. So by tweaking this build.prop, we can enable cast screen feature. Moreover, uh, we'll require a editing tool. I prefer Notepad++. Now let's see uh, whether the cast screen option is enabled or disabled by default. Let's go to the settings menu. The settings menu click on display, scroll down, click on cast. You see there is no option to enable wireless display. Now you have to go back to the settings menu, scroll down and now you have to enable the developer option. To enable the developer option, click on about phone and go down, click on build number 7 times. Tap on it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now you have uh, the developer option will be enabled. You go back, you will see the developer option. Click on the developer option and there one should be OEM unlocking should be on and the USB debugging should be turned on. You just do one thing, turn it off once and connect your mobile to the USB cord. Then turn on the USB debugging mode once again. It will ask for allow USB debugging, click on OK. Then a RSA key fingerprint will be displayed. Click on OK. Now you go back to your desktop. We must keep the mobile phone connected to the laptop via the USB cord. Now we will go to the minimal ADV and fastboot directory. In that particular directory, uh, we will right, uh, click on shift and press right click. Then click on open command window here. It will open the CMD prompt. There we will type ADB devices it will show the list of attached devices now type adb root now we want to pull the build.prop file from the system directory in the mobile device to our local machine let's type adb pull slash system slash build dot prop I have created a demo folder inside it I will copy the build dot prop file press enter it will give a hundred percent successful message then we go to the particular folder so let's see we got the build dot prop file create a backup of this file 
create a backup folder now we'll edit the build up file prop file using notepad plus plus and then in notepad plus plus search for debug when we reach this this option persist.debug.wft.enable equal 0 change it to 1 then save the file now we need to push this build up edited build up prop file back to system system directory in the mobile so go back to the command prompt type adb reboot bootloader press enter when we type adb re reboot bootloader the mobile device will re reboot and will pause at the screen which will dis display the serial number of the device and if the bootloader bootloader is unlocked it will say device is unlocked now we will use the fastboot command to boot our twrp image file first of all let's see whether fastboot detect our device type fastboot devices it will displace the serial number of our mobile now type fast boot boot I have copied my image file twrp image file in the minimal adb folder just copy the name and press enter it will reboot and the twrp will appear in your mobile once fastboot has booted our twrp image we will see this um, team win recovery project then in our on our mobile click on mount then click on system remove the data the cache and micro SD card select the storage it should be internal storage Press click on ok then go back now we need to push back the file to the system slash system directory so type adb push d slash demo slash build dot profile the location of our edited file to the systems directory system slash build dot profile then press enter Now 100% is there, it means successful. Now change the read authority of the file. Type in adb shell ch mode 644 slash system slash build dot prop. then type adb reboot this will reboot your mobile and now let's check whether the wireless option is present under the cast icon go to the settings menu under settings go to display scroll down go to click on cast now see we have the enable wireless display 
on the top right corner now this mobile device is capable of casting a screen to any other compatible device